I got into boxing because my granddad ran an amateur boxing gym. It's been going for about 43 years and my dad was also a boxer. Um, so it was very much part of my family and when I was about six, seven years old they started taking me to the boxing gym um, and I just absolutely loved it. So why I love it I don't know but that's how I, how I first got into it. Pave the Way has come about because when I, when I turned professional uh, usually you have a boxing nickname and we did have some ideas for that but when I was thinking about it it felt more important to me to have something that I stood for and believed in beyond boxing. So rather than have a nickname, I chose Pave the Way, which is, which is part of my, my mission, if you like, and, and my overall goal, which is to pave the way for other girls and women in, in the sport. So that's how, it, how that phrase as such came about, and it, it, just, it just felt right, you know, it, it, that's, that was what I was trying to do. It became an actual project um, for Women's Sport Week last year in 2017, um, and it involved um, loads of primary school visits where I did a talk about you know my journey in football and boxing um, and then we did like a sports session with the kids so it was primarily about challenging stereotypes but also about encouraging girls and women in particular to reach the full potential through sport but also about inspiring people in general um, you know to live active lifestyles and try new sports and things like that so it was all encompassing really. We did loads of community sessions um, went out and did different boxing sessions and talks in, in different areas. And then one of the things we did was a Pave the Way Pioneer exhibition. That involved women who work in sport. So I think people are aware of female athletes now, but women who work in sport tend to be largely invisible and we wanted to highlight what they do and celebrate them. So we had women from all different roles, you know, BBC Sport, um, CEOs of, of, of you know, sports charities and companies. Um, physios, football pitch inspectors, you know, a whole range really and that now is on display at the uh, Velodrome National Cycling Centre so um, it was just going to be for the sport week but it's kind of carried on and, and got legs as they say and um, so we're looking forward to seeing where we can take it eventually. Ultimately I hope we don't have a need for it, I hope that by the time, you know, uh, my little nieces and my little sisters and, you know, kids of that age are my age I hope Pave the Way just will have been a thing of the past that we needed at one time and now we don't because they're going to hopefully grow up in a world where we don't need to be paving the way specifically for girls and women because we're accepted, we celebrated for what we achieve uh, just like our male counterparts and um, gender should never be a barrier to human potential nor should any aspect of humanity, whether that's race, religion, whatever it is. So um, I hope ultimately, that, you know, the end goal would be that we don't need pave the way, but until we do, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm just going to do absolutely everything I can to make it better for the next generation, just like people have done who came before me.